Hearts Mountain is a privately held real estate company. We're based in Secaucus, New Jersey. It's owned and controlled by Leonard Stern. Uh, he started the company in the 1960s and it has grown to over 40 million square feet today. We're nationally based. Uh, we're in all the real estate asset classes, hotels, warehouses, office buildings, and industrial buildings. So we acquired uh, the site in 1970 through the town of Kearney and uh, we, were, we were planning to develop the site over many years and our remediation process begun in 1998 uh, at an estimated cost of two and a half million dollars and we've only recently completed that process at a cost of 15 million dollars so it took tw 20 years it was quite extensive and uh, expensive so we're delighted we got it done and we're also delighted that preferred freezer and cummins engine had interest in the site and we were able to develop these two remarkable facilities. Cummins uh, was previously located in uh, the industrial area down by the ports in North New Jersey. They needed a new modern facility to both train, sell, and uh, repair diesel engines. So this is an, an, the most modern, first-class facility. All the technicians here are uh, very experienced and well-paid, and um, they created over 100 jobs uh, at this location, so I'm very proud of that. Preferred Freezer is one of the largest freezer storage companies in the United States. We entered negotiations with Preferred Freezer approximately three years ago to build a 200,000 square foot, 60 foot high freezer facility here on the Car our Kearney site. Uh, the building is now completed in operation and their cust our customer is very satisfied. Now these facilities are a little different than our typical industrial and warehouse facilities. Uh, most of our warehouses are boxes where we have tenants that occupy them to store product. These, these buildings are a little different. They're not distribution buildings, they're not warehouse buildings. This is truly a, a building of industrial use um, where they actually make repairs and perform services. And preferred freezer is a freezer building, it's not a warehouse building, so it has a tremendous amount of infrastructure in keeping that climate down at, I believe, 10 degrees. So we have a building of 200,000 square feet, 60 feet high, and the temperature is 5 to 10 degrees inside. So there's a, a lot of equipment in order to maintain those temperatures. So both buildings are a little different than what we typically have in our uh, 30 million square foot industrial portfolio. So the, uh, the, the ultimate result is we have a property now that's completed, we have two very well-known credit-worthy tenants paying taxes uh, on a former landfill. So I think the state wins, the city wins, the tenant wins, and we've also managed to solve a pretty significant environmental problem.